Ew. Day 17 and 18? 18 and 19? Wow, I lose track of these so quickly. Anyway, uh, 100 Days of Making Comics. I am Jamie Gamble. It's the weekend. Um, I just had a little family trip. It was a memorial service for my wife's grandfather. He died last year. So the family got together and had a wonderful time. And now we're getting ready to head back up to home. Um, didn't get much work done, but um, the old plying up here stuff was going on. And that's good. And I got to thinking a lot about, uh, before I touched on the subject, about um, how to get your books out there. And, and it really got me thinking about, you know, um, responsibility and where your responsibilities lie. Um, you know, as an independent comic book creator, writer, I don't have a responsibility to myself other than the, the self-fulfillment of the, the writing. Um, but I do have responsibilities to artists that I collaborate with, that I pay, and letterers and colorists that I pay. Um, hopefully they're not totally reliant on me for uh, their livings because um, I'm financially responsible for my family and my life stuff like that so um, you know you have to combine a sense of responsibility and the sense of what makes you happy and um, making sure that you don't overstep that um, I have in the past I've gotten uh, too adventurous um, and try to expand too much, and I'm not Marvel, I'm not DC, so, um, you know, and even those guys don't expand beyond their means, their businesses, um, and they, you know, they test things, but I'm sure they never risk everything, <laughs> and, uh, you know, I, I guess I was driven by wanting to show that I could do this, um, with my first book, on the Terrarium, I put all four books out in a year and kind of regretted a few things, a few editorial things that I would have changed in hindsight if I'd taken a bit longer. Um, but I wanted to show I could do it. Um, not that that counted for much, because I only showed myself I could do it. So, you know, you have to remember where your responsibilities are. And that was, it was good to do it, but again, it was just for me. And with Hero Code, I always feel like I've kind of, because of the delay in putting out books one and two, the, the gap between them, I've always uh, felt responsible for getting the story finished quickly. But sometimes that's not good. Sometimes quick isn't good. You know, a quick, fast, cheap graph. But um, I don't know if there's a what the take would be for independent, because good, fast, cheap is pretty much, you know, responsible, cheap and, um, um, I don't know, what would the third one be? You tell me in the comments below. Um, you know, I guess some sense of, of growth of uh, what I've touched on before about pushing yourself and not just rehashing ideas and not just um, um, getting things out quickly for the sake of getting them out. Um, I need to to sit down and work out a more um, defined workflow for my stuff. Um, you know, that would be good. I think everyone should sit down and think about what they are. I try to, I'm not sure if I've always done it, but I try to be upfront with um, the people I'm collaborating with and outline what I hope to do and what I expect of them and what I um, hope they expect of me, especially with regards to um, uh, reworking stuff and I don't like um, I like getting one pass and then if there's any edits and changes to, to get them done as, as quickly and as early as possible and sometimes I do I like the happy accidents it's, you know, storytelling for me in comics is me telling the artists the story and then telling the story back to me and the readers, and everybody has their input, so it's, it's, you know, it's not my book, it's all of our books, um, and I like how that goes sometimes, sometimes I see things and I think, ah, I should have 
done that differently, but that's that's where I hope I learn. You know, that's down to me as a writer to make things clearer if they have to be clear. Uh, but a lot of times, I'm sure, if you ask the people I work with, what my scripts are like they're very loose. Um, sometimes I even just suggest things and ask them to go with it. And um, you know, I like to see what people do with stuff. I like to. I'm not an artist, so it's nice to see what their take on it is. Sometimes they have better ideas. Oftentimes they have better ideas. And, uh, yeah, and if I miss something, I miss it. So, you know, if I don't get it in that first pass, that's on me. Um, anyway, I'm rambling. Um, I need to pack and go home and sleep and shower and stuff. Okay. Um, so whatever day this was, 17 and 18, I think, 17, 18, maybe 18, 19, um, 100 days of making comics, I'm either 4.8 out of, I don't know, I'm, I'm going to stop talking now. Okay, have a good day everyone, bye.